all right so we might as well make a beat considering that i'm in the studio right now and uh got nothing else better to do today let's start just put two more notes in actually over here um might sound pretty cool we should um, put in some sort of pad or something like that because uh, what I usually do is I sort of play everything on a piano first um, sort of just get a groove for the song on the keys so get that melodic movement that harmonic movement working together nicely and then I sort of change out the sounds I might still use that piano piece somewhere maybe in like a break or a build up or something I'm not entirely sure but see how it goes I guess Uh, let's have a look. Um, we'll go to some more plugins. Let's get uh, a little bit of um, contact or something. All right, yeah. Yeah, it's looking good, it's sounding good. We've got this working now for us. I think it's gonna need a little bit more ambience moving forward, um, but let me put that piano in, let me just see how it sounds. It's getting there, it's getting there. I'm probably not going to have that piano on top, might just have straight piano chords underneath. Bring out a little bit of grit and stuff, so let's see what we can do. You know what, I'm going to put it straight into arrangement now. That's what I do, I don't spend too much time in um, session view. I do a lot of my work in arrangement view because I'm sort of old school like that. I mean, when I started producing, um, I've done the same thing with FL Studio, well, back then it was Fruity Loops 3. And then I've done the same thing when I moved over to Reason as well, obviously, because Reason is just like the way it's designed, how Reason 4 and 5 were. Um, don't know about the latest ones, but it would just be straight in the arrangement. And obviously I've had some experience with Logic as well, so everything is straight in the arrangement. So it's just a workflow thing that I'm normally doing. But let's let's get something popping in there. Let's see what we can do. It's going to get those vocal chops in, and let's see um, if we can get anything pretty cool. I mean, even if they're not vocal chops, to be fair, just... Uh, just gonna need something that sounds pretty cool. So I'm thinking it sounds pretty good. Um, we've got that good space. It sounds sort of euphoric, hypnotic and stuff. Sounds really cool, sounds really cool. I think I'm gonna start working on drums. Uh, maybe some bass or something. I don't know, don't even know which way this is going yet. So still don't know what way it's going, but I guess that's the good thing about production, right? We just experiment and um, see where it takes us. Let me get those hi-hats in actually. I'm going to go with a sampler and uh, drag some hi-hats in. Just some closed hi-hats, actually. Let's see. Let's see what it's in.
obviously there's no bass in it yet so that's going to fill out a lot of the bottom end as well and I probably want to get some more melodies and stuff going on because uh, right now it's just chords and it's sounding pretty basic but it'll get there it'll slowly get there believe in your Manny believe in your Manny please uh, let me just have some tea slow it down a bit So let's get some guitar in there. I'm hearing um, just a few like muted chugs or something in there. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go session guitarist actually. Let's go to the original one. The strummed acoustic. That's what it's called. Always get confused what it's called, but let's see. So it's sounding pretty good at the moment and uh, if you guys want me to finish up this record let me know i'll be more than happy to i'll um, work on obviously the chorus the breaks and probably add some fills make it more interesting because right now as you can see it's a straight eight bar loop there's nothing crazy going on guys if you enjoy this content make sure you smash that like button drop a comment below and uh, if you're not subscribed just hit that subscribe button will really help me out and turn on your notifications as well because there's going to be so many more studio vlogs like this and um, loads of tutorials as well so it's not only going to be me making beats and stuff i'm going to be teaching along the way so um, hopefully i'll see you guys very soon in another video peace out